Good morning, this is JHS Weekly. I'm Lena Cepeda. And I'm Natalie Hemmelsbach. Have you ever wanted to bring your dog to school? One student can, and JHC's Jameson Lane shows us how she does it. Most people bring their phones to school. Piper Henry brings a beagle. The beagle's name is Maggie, and she's a service dog for Piper. Maggie's job is to help control Piper's anxiety and mood. And the dog has to go through a lot of training. Depending on the dog, so you have certain breeds, certain ages. So like, for an ESA, because she's an emotional support animal, it's going to take a different type of training than a service animal. So her training doesn't take as long. She just needs to know the common commands. And Piper says Maggie gets a lot of attention in the hallways. The smiles, people's smiles. Like uh, during sixth hour, sometimes I'll take her up to C2 hallway and the smiles of those kids, they, it's, it's my favorite thing. That and the tech guys, if you ever get to see them with Maggie, um, I can't remember his name, I think it's Matt. Uh, his, his smile, it's, it's. Joplin High School principal, Dr. Stephen Gilbert, says there are a few requirements for any service dog. In order to be, uh, to, to have a service dog in the school, they have to be fully licensed, which means they have to have gone all the way through all the service dog training and the dog also has to learn commands. They have to have been through and successfully completed um, obedience training. And there's only, at, currently there's only one service dog that's in school and it comes once a week. And Maggie says, unlike students, Maggie can be lazy in class. She does distract a slight bit, but normally I get her back to where like she's laying back down and then People, some people actually in class make it less of a distraction because they don't really acknowledge her until like we're not doing anything in class. And it's recommended to ask Piper to pet Maggie if he see them in the hall because this dog is on the job. Reporting for JHD, this is Jameson Lane. Students, Missouri Southern State University is hosting a regional college fair on Wednesday, September 29th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. This event will be held on Young Gymnasium at this fair. There will be reps from many colleges and universities that you can meet, speak with, and receive information from. This is a great opportunity for students to see some colleges' options. Students should pre-register for the fair at strivefair.com. The QR code you receive after registering will be your ticket into the fair. Masks are required in indoor spaces and where social distancing is now possible on MSSU campus. The Writers Guild will have its first official meeting October 6th at the school to determine club president and officers. The meeting will start at 3.50 in Mr. Andrews' classroom, E226, and all are welcome. Donuts will be provided. If you like cartoons, board games, and archery, well, there's a club for you. I had a chance to visit Club Fest to see what students are signing up for. The Joplin High School gym was packed, not with people playing sports, but with students looking for a club they can join. The annual Club Fest was held, and it's a chance to show off everything they offered at the school. Emily Mill is a member of Skills USA and enjoys it. So Skills USA is a student-led organization um, that gets you ready for the workplace. Uh, me and the officer, officer team last year, we built a foundation um, for this year, and then this year we'll build a foundation for the next year. And she says there are pros to being a part of the club. The benefits, um, like I said, you can compete for scholarships. It looks super good on college resumes and college um, and applications for um, anything really, jobs, colleges, anything like that. Another group set up was Jam Club, and Connor Stockholm is a member, and he was rocking out. Jam Club is basically what the name is. It's it's Jam Club. We, uh, we get together, just a bunch of musicians, and uh, learn some songs, and jam out, and have fun. And the students say joining a club makes you a member of a team. You really learn how to work together with people and to collaborate. It's it's not easy learning songs and trying to pull it all together, but. Um, uh, so yeah, teamwork. Teamwork is a big thing you'll learn in, in Jam Club, so yeah. The club generally meets weekly after school. If anyone wants to be a part of Jam Club, you're really just gonna, uh, gonna learn some songs and it's, it's really cool because a lot of times we'll learn them like on our own and we'll come together and collaborate and just work together and try to perform the best version of a song that we possibly can. It's a lot of fun. 
If you would like to join any of these clubs, find a teacher sponsor and sign up. Reporting for JHC, this is Lena Cepeda. The PSAT MSQT will be given at Joplin High School on Wednesday, October 13th at 8.30 a.m. in the Talon Room, A123. High school juniors who wish to be entered in the National Merit Scholarship Program must take this test, which is given just once a year. High school sophomores may take the PSAT to practice for the junior year where students may qualify for the National Merit Scholarship Program. Any 10th or 11th grader who wishes to sign up for the PSAT may do so in the school counselor's office no later than Monday, October 11th. PSAT preparation booklets are available for all students who sign up. A testing fee of $18, cash only, will be connected, collected on the day of the test. This has been JHS Weekly. Thank you for watching. <laughs>